Hi everyone, Antoinette here today. I'm gonna to talk about five ways that introverts can best manage their energy. Now, as an introvert, I get it. We get social exhaustion. We get what's called an introvert hangover. And if you are extroverted, this may be a foreign concept for you, but it is a real thing for us introverts. When we get socially exhausted, not only do we get exhausted as in mentally and emotionally tired, but sometimes that causes stress headaches, anxious feelings, just this feeling of overwhelm. So the first way that introverts can manage their energy is by knowing your triggers, knowing what triggers you into social exhaustion. For some of you, it may be noisy, crowded places, just a whole lot of sounds and a whole lot of people. Even if you're not having to be the one with those people, just the crowds themselves can cause social exhaustion. For some of you, it may be being around a high extrovert, somebody who is talking nonstop. That can be socially exhausting. And for some of you, it may be when you are in a different environment. Like for instance, you're outside of your home, you're in an unfamiliar environment, or you're traveling with work or a group of people. Knowing your triggers is the first step. Number two, plan some quiet solitude, if at all possible, before you know that you're going to be in a, in a high energy situation. One of your trigger situations is going to cause social exhaustion. You don't want to book yourself one right after the other because it's just going to be overload and you're going to get exhausted that much quicker. So think of it like if you were meeting someone for dessert, you wouldn't eat dessert at home and then go out and have dessert with that person because you would have a sugar crash afterwards. Same thing with socializing. If you are going to be in a high energy social situation that you want to reserve your energy for that, then make sure and go on a social diet ahead of time, meaning that you're in a quiet setting, you're getting some of that alone time so that you're reserving your energy for when you need it. Now, if you're liking this video and you want to see more videos for introverts and about introverts and communication, be sure and subscribe to my channel. The third way introverts can manage their energy is by planning when and where you are going to get away. You're going to take a break during this high energy environment or situation. There's nothing wrong with excusing yourself and letting people know that you're going to be back in a little bit. Sometimes it's just you've got to get outside, take a walk around the block by yourself. Or for some of you, it's just, hey, I just need to go sit in my car and be by myself for a little bit. I've actually got a video above and in the description below about places that introverts can go to be alone and get that solitude. So be sure and check that out. If you're in an office or at a conference or some kind of building, plan to go to another part of the building where there's not many people. Just look for those quiet nooks to be able to get a break. I go to the Maxwell Leadership Conference twice a year, and it is a high energy conference, three days. And I have to periodically go back up to my room and just get some quietness, just get some solitude, and then I'll come back down once I have my energy back. But I do this throughout the day for all three days because I have to manage my energy. The fourth way that introverts can manage their energy is by going to whatever, wherever it is, by arriving early and leaving early. In most situations, there's going to be fewer people there when something starts. It's gonna get louder, it's gonna get more crowded, more energy in the room, the later it gets. So if you go early, you can leave early whenever you feel like you're starting to get triggered and it's not going to look odd at all because you were one of the first ones there in the first place. The fifth way that introverts can manage their energy is by having a buffer person if possible. If you get exhausted by high energy people, by people who talk a lot, it's going to help you if you have a buffer person. For me, my buffer person is my husband, John. There are certain social situations that I will tell him, don't leave me alone because I am going to get 
socially exhausted by certain people. And so I need you there to be the buffer so that when I can feel my energy draining, it's not going to be as obvious because I know he will be able to pick up and keep the conversation going. And that brings me to a really important point. And that is if you're in a high energy environment situation where you feel a trigger coming on and you know you need to escape or you know that you need a buffer person, make sure and communicate to the person you're with ahead of time so that they're not confused whenever you disappear or you all at once start getting really quiet and detached. Now, do you have creative ways as an introvert that you manage your energy? If so, please share those in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching.